Hello everybody, welcome to the Steamworks. This is Chris Dash, joining you for a very special early morning stream. You ever wake up early on the weekends? You didn't want to, but uh, now that you're awake, you might as well get something useful done? Well, I think streaming is very useful, so I've decided that, guess what? This is the best time to just get out there and start a stream. Steamworks has barely gotten oiled up for the morning, and by oiled up, I do mean coffee. Um, but we we are <laughs> running at, I guess, minimal efficiency at this point, or at least the required minimal efficiency to be able to get a stream out to all of you. want to thank you. So uh, normally, just to let you know, this is going to be one of our Endless Weekend streams. So Endless Weekend at the Steamworks, it works like this. Basically, during the week, I try to play a game that has a definitive beginning, middle, and end. This past Wednesday night, I finally got through Chapter 1 of Back to the Future of the Game, which was pretty awesome. And now, we're going to be doing a different type of game. We're going to be doing... A uh, an MMO because it's endless weekends. The other game that we do on a regular basis is, well, Minecraft. I call that Minecraft Mayhem. And that's because, well, my son loves Minecraft and we do have a server that I've set up specifically for us to play Minecraft. Those will come out on a fairly sporadic and regular basis. Um, so sometime later today, I guarantee you, Given that my, my son gets twice the amount of video game time on the weekends that he does during the week, we will probably be having an hour of Minecraft. Sudden Warrior, good to see you! Thank you for joining. You joined right at the beginning here. We're just about to get started. I'm going to be jumping on to Maple Story here. Hope you're having a good weekend. Where in the world are you? Let me just get this. You're in Pennsylvania, so you're a, you're an early morning riser too, by choice or by <laughs> by um happenstance. As I know, I I, I this was not by choice for me. <laughs> Normally, I do not wake up at five five thirty in the morning on the weekends. That's when I wake up during the week. I have trouble sleep. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so it's not just me. Uh, I, I either, when it comes to sleeping, I either lay in bed for an hour at night when I feel exhausted and can't fall asleep, or B, I fall asleep fine and then I wake up several times during the night and then wake up early. Do either of those patterns seem to fit you? <laughs> I was gonna say, are you are you playing anything interesting, or do you mostly uh, you you stream as well? Oh, cool. Yeah, I probably followed you. If I have not followed you, I will make sure that I do. I think I probably do. Are you uh, mostly like a, a Fortnite? type of guy or 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 girl i mean sorry i i i don't know who people are by their avatars so uh mostly fortnite or uh do you play other games i'm just asking because there's a lot of fortnite going on right now a lot of fortnite Select the world I want to play in. Ah, here we go. So, just let you know, Maple Story. If you've uh, never played it, this is an MMO that originated in 2004. Let me get my audio turned up here. Oh, you do. A, you're a variety streamer too. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I'm picking a random server. I try to pick the ones that have the lowest amount of people. <laughs> I'm a very antisocial MMO player. I, I like treating MMOs kind of like uh, like a, a, a bigger uh, what do you call it uh, like a like a bigger type of um, Elder Scrolls type of game. So I tend to try to sell it as much as I can. All right, I'm gonna hit start here. 
Oh gosh, I have to. Oh, this is right. I have to. I have to do a pin. Hang on. I. I have to try to remember what my pin is. Oh, Detroit Become Human. How is that? I've seen a bunch of ads for that. Um. Let's see if I can remember my pin here. While we're doing that, I'm not gonna let you see my pin. That game looked incredible. It, it, it seems like the kind of um, Blade Runner dystopian kind of future where humans and robots look almost the same. And it, it's... Oh, that, that looks intense. Now, is that only PS4 now? I, incor uh, I incorrected my pin. Let me try this again. Really, th this is the thing that... All right, I have to hit start. And I'm going to switch again. Uh, incorrect pin. I can never remember my darn pin. This is the only game I know of that you have to set up a stinking pin. There we go. I had it right the first time. Oh, it's, it's taken a minute to load the game. Here we go. Um, yeah, PS4, I, I, I'm sure that it will come out. Okay, fine, adjust. Oh, sweet! It finally adjusted to full screen. PS4 is a very, uh, robust system. It's just a matter of, I'm trying to remember what all my controls are here. Okay, that's my special attack. So, just to let you know, Maple Story has really weird commands. So it's like you move with the you move with the uh, the cursors, but you but your attack is with control. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't have a PS4. I know that's like, wait, what? You don't have a PS4? Yeah, but uh, I'm I'm 35 and. I, I don't have as much time to game as I would like to. Okay. Benefits. Noon existing zero characters. Okay. I, I'm just going to skip through this. This is a lot of reading. Okay. Alright. Are you going to... Okay, so are you going to keep, like, showing me the same thing over and over again here? I mean, this is, this is taking... Alright, I'm ending this. That, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I think exclusives are complete garbage because... And somebody, there was, there was somebody online that uh, I'm friends with that had mentioned this the other day that they believe exclusives are complete garbage at this point because... Pretty much every game is developed on something that can um, that that can be ported to everything else. Like if you look at say Unity, the Unity game development engine literally lets you. I mean, sometimes you have to pay a little bit extra, but it literally lets you basically export with a button click. In theory, as long as you've developed your game right to any platform out there. I, I, I mean, the only thing I could say, though, is there are certain things to be said for certain exclusives. And the exclusives, the exclusives, for example, if you think about, say, um, Nintendo. All right, now keep in mind, I'm more, when it comes to console, I'm more of a Nintendo guy than anything else uh, in the past, anyway. I don't have a Switch. My, my son has a Wii U. But um, basically... It's like, I don't know, there are certain things that you will always expect from Nintendo, like Zelda. Um, you did not just freeze up on me. Okay, you did. Like, for example, Zelda, Mario, etc. Although, I think you could do some really epic things with cross-platform, you know, Mario and uh, other, other things. I mean, if you think one of the greatest things that happened cross-platform-wise is um 
you know, when basically Nintendo ended up licensing Sega's stuff back in the day when Sega decided they weren't going to do consoles anymore. Although I still think, I think that there's an area in the market where we could get a better console that is really more universal in nature. Um, but, I mean, everybody wants an exclusive, so like Halo will almost... Well, no, Halo is on the PC now, isn't it? You know what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. The PS4 game will get on PC, but it will not end up on Xbox or um, any other platform. We're, I, I, I do some stuff on the side with a uh, game development team, actually. It's not my job. It's more of a volunteer thing, and I've been involved with it. It's a fan game of, uh, of an older game. And uh, we're trying to make it as cross-platform as possible. But it's very difficult from a licensing perspective because you have to pay to be in all these different development systems. And uh, that's the only thing. But we don't want it to be exclusive. So that's why, you know, when it, we're thinking about distribution, we're thinking about good old games, we're thinking about Steam, we're thinking about um, trying to do th some of the bigger consoles out there. Uh, at some point, but probably not at launch. Oculus is on the picture in the picture as well. What I would like to do, or I would like to see done, is uh, there's this thing called GOG Connect, and it allows you to, if you bought a game on Steam or uh, on Good Old Games, it allows you to get the game both on Good Old Games and Steam at the same time. But most developers are really finicky about that because they don't. They want to get the money twice. And I understand that, but that's a little bit different than uh, a console exclusive. Console exclusives, like I said, some games are okay, but I think that it's... A, like, if you look at uh, Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is a phenomenal looking, you know, battle type of... Team battle type of game. And it's only on PS4 right now. Now, they did say they are going to be porting it to the PC, but how cool would it be to be able to have that experience across uh, Xbox and PS4 and PC and have everybody fighting each other? I know you could argue, okay, the difference between uh, keyboard precision and mouse precision versus um, controller, but I mean, some of the new controllers are pretty slick. Have you done any Bloodborne or uh, Dark Souls? I know that's a big, big thing on the um, PS4. I love the noise the pigs make when they die. I just wish they would drop bacon. Sometimes they'll drop leather. But that's not bacon. You can't eat leather. I mean, you could, but it'd be like the worst beef jerky ever. I like beef jerky, though played some Bloodborne. Now, the new one or the older one? Or both? Because I've been watching Bloodborne, man. That's an intense game, and it has... The stat screen is pretty overwhelming. Die, pigs! Now, okay. Taken completely out of context, saying die, pigs is not a good idea older. Yeah, I mean, they just came out with a remaster of Bloodborne, though. Um, and it, it they basically took the Dark Souls 3 slash... Uh, or not... Sorry, not Bloodborne. Um, Dark Souls. They came out with a remaster of Dark Souls. And they basically took the Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3 engine and... Uh, and remastered the game using that so it looks better. But uh, for better or for worse, from the people that are playing the uh, Dark Souls remaster, it's uh, pretty close to the original. So, do you primarily do PS4 streaming, or are you, uh, do you also do PC? Or Xbox? Holy cow! See, like, I could go to the mainland right now, but I'm trying to grind my way up to, like, level 15 or something before I do that because 
once you get to the mainland, you kind of have to go on your epic quest. PS4 and Xbox. Very cool. All right. So I'll tell you the the reason I, I used to have an Xbox, like or Xbox original Xbox, and um, I loved Halo. Halo was one of my favorite games, but also some of the other games I really liked. Um, there was something called The Suffering. Don't have a capture card, so you have to use Twitch apps. Oh, you know what? Um, for me, even with the computer, I'm using an Elgato um, HD60, which is standard USB 2. Um, so I have a bit of a lag, but but that being said, you can get an Elgato HT, HD60 or HD60S, which is USB C. Um, you can get them on eBay. Or if you have a computer you can stream with, you can get the uh, Elgato HD60 internal card uh, also on eBay. Look for them a little bit like gently used, and usually you can find a good deal on them. Just make sure that you know you're, you're buying from a reputable seller and they say that it's actually in good working condition. I got really lucky, so I discovered I can't stream and play on the same machine uh, for more complicated games. Actually, I probably could on this one, but uh, like something like, say for example, uh, a, a 3D game, um, what was it? Like I was trying to play Neverwinter. That was what I did for my first uh, Endless Weekends month. And um, it was just lagging like crazy. Uh, the frame rate sucked. And it's, uh, it really um, made it so that I couldn't, I couldn't play the game. So I had to get a capture device, and I was really bummed out um, because, like, I had just started streaming, and I'm like, oh, I got everything finally set up and working the way I wanted, and now I can't play the games I want. HP laptop, yeah, um, that you might be able to do that. The um, the thing I would say is, yeah, get a capture card. I mean. It's just going to be very hard to play games on the laptop and uh, stream at the with that laptop. So I would say use the laptop specifically for streaming and get uh, the Elgato. Get the uh, smaller, more portable Elgato uh, if it's a laptop. Um, I would say get the, the S model this time around because the it, it's worth the expense. I luckily, I really lucked out. I had a buddy at work and I was mentioning my stream woes to him and he goes... Oh, well, um, I'm just healing a bit. He's like, you know, I was going to stream once and I stopped. I stopped streaming and uh, I, I, I decided I didn't want to do it. And I have an Elgato card sitting around. So uh, I could sell it to you if you want for a good price because I'm not I, I used it once. And so that's that's how I got mine. Uh, I just lucked into it. and I ended up buying it. But you can find them on eBay, and you can find them new. They run anywhere from a hundred, you know, maybe seventy-five dollars used to up to a hundred and something dollars. So it's um, it's definitely worth it. The other thing, um, in terms of software on the computer, you don't have to spend that much money. In fact, you don't have any you have to spend any money at all. Um, there's OBS and there's also something called Streamlabs OBS. Now Streamlabs OBS, which is what I'm currently using, or slobs as some people call it, uh, is a customized version from Streamlabs that helps to integrate some of their features, um, like like donations, uh, their some of the other aspects of like their animations. Although I use a separate tool called Latch Tools for my um, like if you follow me or something. But there, yeah, it, it might be worth you investing if you want to be able to add like graphics or overlays on your stream and things like that. It, it might be worth the cost. But hey, bottom line, play for fun, enjoy what you're doing. You know, um, I mostly do. Well, no, I all I do all PC um, based gaming at this point. But I also have like classic Sega collections and stuff. Ooh. It can handle Streamlabs and Stream Elements. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to say, standard OBS is uh, a little less optimized. So Streamlabs has done a good job of optimizing specifically to make the performance better. One of the things you could do is uh, you can also, I found out, and I don't do this, but 
you can choose to go into your thread processing and you can set it so that Streamlabs is dedicated on one core of your CPU uh, through your, you know, your performance, uh, what's it called? Oh, come on, task manager, task manager. And there's a way to automate it too. There's some software out there, but I wasn't going to mess with that. Once I kind of discovered I couldn't stream and play on the same laptop, I, uh, I said, okay, the heck with it. How close am I to 11 here? I just want to get to the point where I can one hit th kill these guys because when you get to the mainland, these are like the next to hardest thing um, in the initial areas. There's basically ribbon pigs. Ribbon pigs! I played this game, to give you some background, I played this game when it was in beta back in 2004. I was addicted to it way back then. And then when it went live and came out of beta, everybody became jerks and there we go. Look at my skills. I'll add to my recovery skill. Okay. And I'm going to get hit. And I don't care. Alright. Can I one hit kill these guys yet? Nope. I need to be able to one hit kill them. Once I get to the point of one hit killing these guys. I'm going to move on. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It was a lot. It, 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 it's, it's such a simple looking game. And it's, um, this is actually an MMO, but it's, it's like if you took Super Nintendo, up the graphics a little bit, and then, um, turned it into a, an MMO, it, that's what this is. It's very much though, there's a lot of grinding, obviously, uh, but that's most MMOs. You know, you, you start as a low level character and you just go around and you fight stuff until you get to a high level and... Um, right now, I'm still in the beginning world. I'm on Maple Island, and I need to move over to Victoria Island, which is the kind of main area. But I'm not doing that until I can one-hit kill these guys, because I know that if I if I remember correctly, you know, I'm already level 11, but if I remember correctly, it's like you want to be higher level than you need to be. As with any, any MMO, you could do the bare minimum, and then you find that you're way outgunned. Yeah, but I played this in beta way, way back in the day, and it was a lot of fun. The problem is that once you got out of beta, people, like, jumped on and started kill stealing and all this stuff, so they would uh, they would steal your drops, and that kind of ticked me off, and people were jerks. Can't... Ah, oh, you stupid thing. It's a, also a matter of I get frustrated with myself when I do stupid stuff like that where I fall off the side. Not that it takes help. I noticed that the amount of pigs has increased exponentially to fit my level. Hey, my bot finally woke up. Thanks, Gerald. Thanks, Gerald, the chat bot. It only took you half of the stream to wake up and say hello. Good job. Yeah, I mean, MMOs... I do them, like I said, I do them basically on the weekend. So during the week, I play more of a story-based game. Uh, right now, I'm currently in the... You know, I gotta move this thing. Hang on. I gotta move this. This is... I have stuff that's... I like the map. I'm gonna move it over here. Or the guide. And I'm gonna move this down here. But, yeah. Um, how did that happen? Oh. I hit the chat window. Whoops. But yeah, it, people can be jerks. People uh, aren't always jerks. It just depends on if you find the right game. Not many people seem to play this as much anymore because they have MapleStory 2 and stuff. So you can actually... Uh, this, is, this is on the... I cannot encourage you to do this. But there, there are abilities to set up private server emulators for this game. Uh, I cannot, of course... Uh, encourage you to break DMCA laws um, and or copyright laws but I'm saying you can if you want to but um, I tried that once and it failed miserably so MMOs are fun with friends uh, you're absolutely right and maybe at some point at some point once uh, you know when I, when I have more people once I, once I expand a bit as a streamer, we could do, like, a sub, 
night or something like that or a sub endless weekend thing or a uh, just an endless weekend thing where we play an MMO as uh, you know as a group of streamers and it would be a ton of fun I think that that's uh, that's a great idea problem is I need <laughs> I need IRL friends too <laughs> But it, it becomes a challenge as you get older because it's like the people you were friends with when you were younger, you find out, oh, well, it's just because of, we were, we were friends mostly because of circumstance, and now we don't have as much in common, so it's a very, and then you have people move away and people have lives, and so it's a lot harder to maintain those relationships, I'll say. Um, I tend to play, like I said, um... During the week, I do more story-based games. I do, um... Right now, I'm doing Back to the Future, the game from Telltale, which I like the story. I don't like the game mechanic. Like, the controls are a little bit wonky. And basically, I don't like the fact that you're using the story, like, a piece of the story as your, um, kind of game mechanic. Because, um... Like, in the 90s, there were a lot of full-motion video games and adventure games where you had to solve a puzzle to move ahead in the game. But the puzzle itself wasn't a piece of the story. The puzzle was just a logic puzzle, and then you got to move forward. And right now, what's going on is... Um, Telltale games in general, it seems to me that their game mechanic is you have to solve a piece of the story in order to move forward in the story. And I, I just... I don't know. I found that I find the controls are a little bit clunky, and I find uh, myself frustrated. But it also could be me that I'm in the wrong mindset during the game. Um, but I like adventure games, like classic adventure games. Um, I also I, I like pretty much I like most games. I prefer games though, like I said, that are story driven for the most part, except for on the weekends where I do things like this. I also do um, Minecraft. I I play with my son. And uh, we chat via text. He plays upstairs. I play downstairs. And it, it works really well. With Minecraft, it's it's pretty crazy. He's like, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this and this and this. And I'm like, um, I, I don't need to know what we're going to do. I, I just want to, you know, because he'll, he'll go on for 20 minutes. <laughs> and that's just the way kids are, you know. They'll they'll go on for 20 minutes about, well, if you do this and you do this, then we could do this and then we could do this. And I'm like, okay, we haven't even finished building our house slash castle yet. Let's let's, you know, stick to basics here. <laughs> we you need food, clothing, shelter first. Let's maybe you know take some of the animals we have access to, corral them into a pen of some sort so that we have a constant food supply. You know, food, clothing, shelter. Th these are these are the needs of life, and they are the needs in games too. For the most part, I mean, come on, y you're you're not gonna run around. The longer you run around with a character without clothing on, the uh, the more likely you are to die. Have you done any Monster World? I'm just curious. I know that you do both PSV and X uh PSV. I can't talk PS4 and Xbox. I'm just curious, whereabouts in Pennsylvania in general? You don't have to give your specific town. I just asked because, um, uh, what's it called? Like, I've gone on vacation in the Uniondale type of area. Um, also in the Delaware Water Gap area as well, like, uh, Tamment and, uh, the Poconos, that, that area. So, it's, uh, you know, I, I think Pennsylvania is low. Oh, east of Pittsburgh. Okay. Everybody li lives near Pittsburgh, actually. But, uh, yeah, I drove, I, I, I <laughs> my wife and I, we, we had our honeymoon in, um, the Poconos and we ended up driving near Pittsburgh to try to find some place to stay, uh, because the place that we were going to stay at got flooded. It was during that big flooding thing, uh, back in 03, or no, 06, sorry, 06, and, um, Basically, basically we went to Pittsburgh and there was some sort of convention or something going on. And so all the hotel, it was very much the, there's no room at the inn type of thing. You're going to have to sleep in a manger. Because uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what it was. You're going to have to go sleep in a barn because there are no hotel rooms anywhere. And luckily a buddy of ours came to our rescue and 
found a bed and breakfast for us to stay at until we got the other situation straightened out. That's, um, that's life. Life can be crazy. You gotta figure. But yeah. It's a nice state, though. I, I am in the great, or formerly great, state of Connecticut. Home of Mark Twain, Harriet Bitzer, Stowe, and oppressive taxes. And people who like spending money they don't have. That's not getting political. I'm not I'm not stating my political uh, affini affiliations by doing that. I'm just saying that I can't stand the taxes in my state. And I can't stand the fact that the taxes keep going up because people... The, the there is a situation where the expenditure levels in the state are insane. So both at town levels and at the state level, and it's it's crazy. Yeah, they do. They really do. But I mean, we can't do much about it. You know, there's only a few things guaranteed in life, and taxes are one of them. I mean, the I'll say with New Hampshire, they don't have sales tax. That's nice. But you pay a little bit more in property taxes in areas where you don't have sales tax. And then you gotta think, like, technically Medicare, Social Security, all that's a tax. We lose, like, a third of our paycheck to taxes. Like, the most depressing thing to me is looking at my tax return at the, <laughs> at the end of the year and being like, wait, I only got how much of my paycheck? That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on. Oh, I killed another pig. I'm pretty close to level 12 now. I'm just going to keep grinding for a while. And then hopefully after level 12, I think I'm going to move on because I want to see some new areas. This is like one of the more challenging areas in this beginning kind of island is the... Wow, like, what is going on? Like, why is it that I only get, like, 30 hits on them sometimes? So, yeah, definitely not going to be one hit killing these guys. There's one hidden right behind this thing, so I'm just going to hit here. I'm going to... Yeah, you just, you just stay in the corner like a moron. That, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. The thing I like about Pennsylvania is it's a little bit... It's a tiny bit warmer than Connecticut. But not by much. Uh, but there was a place we went to in Pennsylvania. I kid you not. It was one of the um, alcohol outlets. And they had Mike's Harder. Not Mike's Hard. Mike's Harder Lemonade. No, no, no. I want my bandana. Give me that bandana. Give me that bandana. I want the bandana. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's probably like some rare drop. Yeah, headband. But um, we went to this place. Tell me I don't have to be a... Uh... Yeah, I've got my headband on. I think. Let's see. Cool. All right, now that, that affects my, my cool factor, I think. Oh, maybe it's giving me a little bit of an update. But um, we went to this place, and they had Mike's... Harder lemonade slushies. Slushies. Um, I'll say I might have underestimated them a bit. I, I do not currently drink sugary alcoholic beverages, but back then I did. And, uh, man, that thing came out of nowhere. I was like, what the heck? Who does this? Who puts creates alcoholic slushies this is a thing it's it's totally a thing I was like uh, that's, that's weird for me I'll, I'll say this for me the the streaming stuff it's just an excuse you never heard of them Mike's so I I don't know I'm trying to remember where that place was. I want to say, I don't think it was in Uniondale. I want to say it was somewhere else. Carbondale or something like that. There was a small little alcohol outlet that <laughs> it was like one of the state approved 
places. It was a small little place that was licensed to sell beverages. And in addition to local brews, they had these Mike's Harder Lemonade Slushies. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, it, w- it was good, though. It, it just, uh, yeah, make sure you have food and whatnot with it because it will knock you on your rear otherwise. It did not knock me on my rear, but, um, again, it's, what are you doing? And that's it. I mean, uh, I like to go to Pennsylvania because there's uh, remote areas where you can go somewhere and there aren't, it's like you can actually, you can actually have real quiet where I live. Um, to give you an idea, even though I'm in a house, if my neighbor sneezes or their phone rings, I can hear it through my walls. Uh, it's very much like a postage stamp, less than a quarter of an acre type of, uh, you know, community here. There we go. I'll take that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be moving on after I up, I'm gonna up my three snail skill. Because none of the other skills are, oh no, I can't. It won't let me up any of my skills. What the junk? Really? You're not gonna let me up any of my skills. Okay, so that means it's time to move on. If I can't if I can't increase any of my skills. Holy cow, fifty. Yeah, I could two hit kill them. Oh yeah, go ahead. Uh enjoy your breakfast. I have not eaten yet myself, but I, I will be eating once I'm done. I'm probably gonna finish around seven thirty. And then go eat. Because food is important. Thanks for hanging out, though. I appreciate it. Alright, maybe I should move this thing up here. That's more logical. Hey, Biggs. Let me talk. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, I know. I know, we all have to get out of here. How much... How much money do I have? I have 3,000 something made so. But here's the thing, like any gear I get, any gear I get is probably gonna be replaced with my mage gear when I get to the, when I get to the mainland and start going and getting mage gear. Cause I'm gonna be a mage because that's what I do. Some drops. Drops. What is this? Okay. Thank you for the information. 11.04 a.m. Um, that's a weird time. Probably because of where I picked the server. Do I have something on my face? I hate talking to strangers. Okay. Ah, new explorer. Yeah, ticket. I have a ticket. All right, let me talk to this guy. Wait, what? What just? No, no, you did not. You did. You did. Okay. Uh, 
All right. I will talk to this sugar person there. I hate talking to strangers. Um, excuse me. Um, is that girl saying something? You can barely hear her. Excuse me? Obtained. Over here. Okay. Now what? Flustered Explorer. She lost her boat ticket. In a box. She lost it in a box. Side quest. Side quest. Let me go on this side quest to go back and to find her ticket. I don't need to, but I'm going to because I'm awesome. Side quest. Side quest in South Perry. Nope. Ah, there's her ticket. Quest complete. Always complete the quests. All the quests. It's all about the quests. Actually, it's it's all about the drops. All about the drops, all about the drops, drop a base. Okay, maybe not. That's your ticket, yes. Yes. The captain is ready to depart. Or deport. Oh, great. Foggiest notion of, but there are monsters on board. Yeah, fine, I'll take care of them. Okay. I'm gonna go destroy the rampaging monsters. Oh, that's a big snail. Ye oldie snail. Holy cow. Die, ye oldie snail. I wonder, can I jump over here? No. Yes. Quest complete. I destroyed a giant snail. How is a giant snail monsters? There was a monster, as in singular. All right. Hey, I almost went up to level 13 just by doing that, so. Yes, I'm ready to board. Cool, let me go talk to this person. I don't care, you totally look like cow. All right. Tess. Okay. All right. Yes, I'm really not cow. Or cow. Level 13. I'll take it. Nope. Can't increase my skills any further. Oh. Yes, I did. No, I decided which one I wanted. Uh, okay. Go for it. Okay, the ship is ready to sail. That was a violent fade to black. Like, it was it was an extremely violent fade to black. <laughs> it's like the music didn't fade or anything. It's just... Ooh! Really? Okay, so they did... It. They did animation for this. Really? Cutscene. Trapped inside. 
Wow, I didn't realize there was this cutscene. It's like, oh, well, now you've spent an hour on this game or an hour and a half on this game already. We'll, we'll give you an opening title sequence. Like, what? <laughs> it's a bit of a while to wait for an opening title sequence, don't you think? Actually, that happened with Black Panther, too, now that I think about it. It's like, oh, we're going to start the movie right away. Oh, now let's throw the Marvel logo out there. Right. You could tell that this is a bit pixelated, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. At least I'm not dropping any frames with this thing. I I'm watching my frame rate right now. I'm like, oh, cool. There's no frames being dropped. That sounded like a cell phone ringtone at the end. Another cutscene. Wow, I see land. No, you don't say. Grendel, the really old. Yes. Oh, I remember this song. They... Yes, I would like to become a magician. Oh, that's right. I get teleported to Magic Land. Okay. Let's make this official right away. Sure. Oh, my stats. Skill window. Well, hang on, hang on. So here's my stats. I'm going to auto assign. Yes. I initially auto want to auto assign because it Okay, thank you. All right, what why, why are you doing this to me? I can't. I All right. Yes, I get that. Auto assign. All right. Skills aren't everything. Your stats support your skills as a magician. Okay. Alright, so I'm an, it won't let me auto assign. It's not letting me auto assign! No, 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 no. You're not putting that much in intuition. I'm going to say. <laughs> I'll put like. Maybe. The majority in intuition. Let's see, I had 50-something, so I'm going to put, like, half in intuition. And I'm going to put seven points in everything else. One, two, three. Oh, I can't. Four, five. Six. One, two, three, four. Yes. I did that because I figured that I want to put most of my points in intuition, but I also want to be well-rounded. That's just my choice. 
Okay. There we go. That's that's what I want to be. Now, let me look at my skills. Uh, Nebulite Fusion. Oh, that's... No, I don't need that. Kenner's Basics. Intro to Magic. Ah. Th these I will definitely... I'm going to move this one over here. And move this one over here. Portion of the damage dealt to you affects your magic points and say, all right. Heck yeah, I want energy bolt. And I do like magic guard. So I'm gonna drag that over here too. All right, cool. Level requirement, 18. Alright, what's this? Cassandra, it's an explorer book. What's an explorer book? I don't know what an explorer book is. Maple leaf. Yay. Okay. Okay. Oh, those are health potions. What am I doing? I need a weapon. Like, I need... I mean... Oh, there's my staff. Ooh, one-of-a-kind untradeable. I'll wear that. Why not? Etc. What else do I have? Explore a book. Okay. I didn't realize this game came in chapters. Interesting. Yeah, I already looked at it. Like, what, what do you want me to do? Okay. So why are you still flashing? I already looked at it. All right. Wow. Oh, that's what Olmec is. It's a game of some sort. Okay. The head of a peak. Secondary weapon maker. The great Gacha Pero. Let's talk to this thing. Oh, you have to purchase it. I see. I see. That's, um. Yeah. Talk to Matilda. Teleport rock. AP reset scroll. Dang. Dang, your stuff's expensive. No thanks. I want 
want I want a new wand. Oh, there's. Do, 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 do. All right. Sorry, this this junk's getting in my head. The socket master. It's like a steampunk guy that's right up my uh, alley. Using crazy piece of alien hardware, any item can have a socket. It's basically a little where you stick special alien stones called nebulite. The aliens use them for power, but you can use them to give special stats to your gear. Unfortunately, our normal equipment really isn't made to utilize alien power. That's where the alien socket creator comes in. Just find at the general store and install in his socket. Cool. Alright. That doesn't... Let me chat with you, Anne. Daughter of Dr. Betty. She's always lacking. See, I thought that there was some sort of quest I had to go on to get some... Mushroom caps. I can go to the secret forest anytime I want. That's cool. Let's see. Secondary weapon vendor. Alright. Powers medallion. Dang. Dang. Expensive. All the things are expensive. All the expensive things are expensive. Holy cow. I did... Oh, I can put on... That's right, I have new gear. So I can put on... Equip. I can equip this. I can put that on... No, wait. I, I want to keep that for now. I don't even know what that does. I could sell that. I've got the wizard hat. That's nice. I'm gonna sell some of my old junk. I don't even know what they're for. Oh, these are all female. I'm not female. These can all go. I don't need my sword anymore. Don't need... Hey, Son of Warrior, you're back! Well, I'm actually going to be wrapping things up in... Uh, in a few minutes here, because I have to go eat breakfast. I don't want to sell it. Let me compare it to what I have. Defense plus two. Defense plus five. I want to keep that. Hang on. Why am I not wearing these? Stats are too low. Dang. Alright, I gotta find a quest here. So, I have moved on to the, um... To the main island, and I am on the uh, I'm on I'm in the area where basically magicians go to become magicians. So I'm now a mage officially. Okay, yeah, I'm one of the Black Wings, right? 
What's a package deliverer? Oh, there's the person I need to talk to. The Monk of Honor. No, stop it. Monk of Honor. I like that title. Monk of Honor. Random video screen in the forest. That, you know, doesn't disrupt the mood of the game at all. Stop. Alright, I'm just gonna go this way. No, no. No, don't do that. I remember this part being a pain. Now that I... Oh my gosh. No, I hit jump and hit the right arrow. Like... Wait. How is that not... Is that not like an actual branch I can jump on? No, hang on, hang on. It isn't an actual branch I can jump on. What the... Heck. No, I hit jump. You need to jump. Do as you're told. Stop not jumping. Oh, uh, boy. This is this is going to be the, one of those morning ends. Uh, uh. No. So, like, once you get past that, that fourth thing here. So, once you get past here, you die. All right, that's not working. What in the stinking world? All right, I'm going to try to talk to him from across the screen because I can't get to him. No. See, I keep hitting jump, but it keeps walking off the edge of the screen instead. No, I can't get to him. I cannot get to that guy, but there's got to be a way to get to that guy. Unless... Unless I'm just supposed to, like... Go up there. I don't know, like, what, what am I supposed to do here? There we go. Okay. Alright, here we go. Title challenge. Time limit, 30 days. Hunt 100,000 monsters. Only monsters that are yearly level or higher are approved. 100,000 in 30 days. That's not going to happen. There's not a chance. I'm only going to be playing this game an hour at a time for the weekends of this month. And then I'm going to be moving on to a different never-ending game. So uh, that's not going to happen. Oh, crud. That was a long fall. Okay. So I've got to go out and I thought there was some sort of quest I needed to do, but well, here's somebody to talk to. Let's see what they want. Okay. So why do you have a little idea? Like you make it seem like I could do something, but I can't. This is, this is, you know, kind of sad, like... That's gotta be... This has gotta be like the... Oh, that's the general store. Okay, let's, let's go in the general store. Socket creator is 5,000. Plenty of potions already. Return scroll. Tonic, holy water. You don't have any weapons. Do I really need this? I don't know if I need this. So, it's expensive. If it's expensive, I might need it. I only need to buy one. Alright. So, got these metals. They don't max HP plus 30. Yeah, I'm going to wear that one. Do 
transferable with an account. Double click to receive a 2x XP buff for 15 minutes. That's interesting. Which item is getting the new socket? I don't know what item's getting the never mind. Okay, so I'm I'm not gonna worry about the sockets right now. Anyway. So I think we're gonna call this a morning at this point. Um I've finally gotten to wait, what are these? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at them. Oh, oh, they're cute. What is this? No, no, talk to me. No, no, you can't talk to them? What are they? Character info. Wait, that's somebody's character? That's somebody's character. Oh, that was the cutest character ever. I didn't realize that was a real person. Holy cow, that was awesome. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to wrap things up for this morning's stream uh just because i want to uh go and eat breakfast that being said so let me exit this i'm gonna go to change character i'm gonna go to quick game and we're gonna go back to my desktop but we're going back to my desktop for a reason normally i don't show my desktop but what i like doing at the end of my stream is i like finding another Smaller streamer that I'm following. Oh, that's Skullstream. Skullstream is uh, awesome. If you haven't watched Skullstream, he does a lot of darker games like the... Um, uh, like he does a lot of Dark Souls and, and, and things like that. And he has a nice little custom face rig here that is pretty awesome. Although he does use his web camera at times too. First time he did it, it threw me off because I was so used to seeing, you know... You know, just the avatar and it, it broke the illusion. But what I like to do is I like to find a streamer who's a little bit smaller. Ooh, Laura's on. I want to... Laura is playing Erratus, Lord of the Dead, which is a uh, Kickstarter game. And she's not a smaller streamer, per se. She is uh, part of the Dark Forces. But I think what we will do is we will drop on in to say hi to her, and then I'm going to go eat breakfast. So, uh, just to let you know, I normally stream Wednesday nights, 8 to 9 p.m. That's my, like, normal slot, but on the weekends, I tend to do these streams whenever I can, these little middle streams. Uh, so, I do Endless Weekends, which is an hour or so of an MMO, and then uh, Minecraft Mayhem, which will definitely be happening at some point later. It's just a matter of when my son and I make the time to do it. So, I'll post on Twitter when that happens. I do want to thank you, Sudden Warrior 76 Everybody, anybody that's watching this video, go and make sure that you follow Sudden Warrior. In fact, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm pretty sure I follow you already, but if I could spell. Let's take a look here. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. And I do follow you. No, I don't want to see the college championship. So as you can see, Sudden Warrior has been playing Detroit Become Human. And he is going to be streaming again in a couple of days or whenever he has a moment. So everybody definitely check him out. And in the meantime, I want to thank all of you tinkerers and all of you, uh, you inventors out there for joining me here at the Steamworks this morning. And now... We are going to go and raid Infernal Loyara because she's awesome. So we're going to jump over to her stream just because Infernal Laura is awesome. And I believe she just became a member of the Dark Forces, the same team that uh, Skullstream is on. These are great people, uh, all of them. So I would definitely... Uh, I would definitely say it, it it's worth jumping over and us saying hi. So in the meantime, thank you for joining me. And uh, being so dashing, I'm going to dash off. You have a great day. Thanks.